an American writer and retired professor says the administration of U.S. President Donald Trump has raised the possibility of a nuclear war which would destroy the civilization. James Petras, who has written dozens of books on international issues, made the remarks in an interview with Press TV on Saturday while commenting on a statement by a top U.S. commander who has warned of an imminent war with Russia. General Robert Neller, the commander of the U.S. Marine Corps, stationed in Norway, on Thursday called on his troops to be ready for redeployment for a potential war with Russia and the Pacific region. I hope I'm wrong, but there's a war coming, Neller told the U.S. forces during a visit to the Nordic country. You're in a fight here, an informational fight, a political fight, by your presence. The commander referred to Russia and the Pacific as the next major areas of conflict, predicting a big A asterisk asterisk fight in the future. I think probably the focus, the intended focus is not on the Middle East, Neller said, when asked by a Marine about where the force saw itself fighting in the future. The focus is more on the Pacific and Russia, Professor Petra said that, this is a very irresponsible statement, that however raises the possibility of a nuclear war which would destroy the civilization as we know it. The statement has no relationship to what the rest of the world believes is necessary. Most leaders in the world look at the possibilities of war as a catastrophic event, not something to prepare for, he stated. I think the Trump administration is increasing arms transfers to Ukraine. It's carrying out exercises in South Korea. It's threatening to run to violate the nuclear agreement, and declaring Jerusalem al-Quds as the capital of Israel, he noted. All of these are very provocative and many ways have isolated the U.S. and increased its hostility to the world with the kind of imperial paranoic vision of how we should resolve conflict, the analyst concluded. On Saturday, Russia warned that the United States is crossing the line by providing Ukraine with lethal weapons, saying Washington is practically pushing Kiev into new bloodshed. Sergei Ryabko, the Russian deputy foreign minister, accused the White House of fomenting the persisting conflict in eastern Ukraine between the government troops and pro-Russia forces in a region known locally as the Donbass. <laughs>